Lauren is up. Lauren, how can we help? Hey, guys. Uh, fun to know that you used to live in Richmond. Um, <laughs> yes, thank you. So my boyfriend and I are currently planning out a potential feature together. So we've been going through FPU and during that process, um, and actually before that process, he shared that in a previous relationship, he co-signed on a student loan with his girlfriend. Mm-hmm. So, Ooh. Um, <laughs> so looking at that, we're trying to figure out, do we pay that off? Is there any way to, like, what do we do with that? Because she never finished the degree, and so it's not likely that she's going to pay it off anytime soon. Um, yeah. Wow. I don't think I've ever heard this one, Rachel. This is, how long ago was the uh, relationship? Um, it ended probably two years ago, and it was three years long. Oh, boy. Man. Yikes. Well, is the girlfriend Ex. like... Oh, gosh, sorry. Yeah, that's okay. Sorry, Lauren. It's okay. Ex-girlfriend. Yeah. Is she <laughs> is she behind on on payments? Is she... Like, no. where is she? Is she... She's, she's paying the minimum payments, but it's just going to take forever. Well, right now, it's in forbearance. So before she was paying the minimum payment. Yes. Right okay. now it's on like hold and all that. Right. But is she, do you know if she's planning on at all being aggressive towards this debt? No idea. There's no contact. Did the, did the, <laughs> okay. oh, did the relationship end uh, peacefully? You know, <laughs> it wasn't tumultuous. It just kind of stopped. So I just it, wonder, yeah, is she going to try to stick it to him because he co-signed for it? Yeah, because the only the only reason as a co-signer are you kind of screwed is if they stop right, right payments mm-hmm. and all of that. But if she continues to pay and it's just, I mean, it would suck that she, you know, if she has it for the next seven years, he's for seven years, he'll yeah. be kind of watching his back being like, oh, gosh, she's not going to pay. She going to pay. But if, you know, but I but know. you guys are only, or he, sorry, yeah. your boyfriend is only on the hook when, when or if something goes awry. Do you know what I mean? Then, yeah. then he would be. How so, much is it? Um, 20000 And nice. what we're looking at is, okay, so let's say we get married, we move together, all that. A year from now, we go to buy a house and we've paid off everything but that student loan. Is that like negatively affect our credit score? Like, should we just pay it off to get rid of it? Like, what does that all of it? Well, most of it is in be? her name, yeah. 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 Um, but again, ugh, I would want to know what she. That's the thing that sucks about co-signing is I'm like your future is tied to this other mm-hmm. person, right? For yeah. until until it's until it's paid off and student loans. I mean, they're not bankruptable. I mean, like this is a thing that's going to have to happen. So. Um, Man, I would hate for him to be the one. She could look if you guys had contact with her to refinance. Sometimes when you refinance, you can get, you know, um, get a cosigner off of the loan. Student loans. I'm. Ugh, are they federal or private? Federal. Federal. Okay. I would look into that, Lauren, and see, and and it would be worth a conversation to reaching back out to her, even though it's probably very, it's very awkward. <laughs> um, but to see if she would consider refinancing to get his name off of it because of his plans moving forward. Um, yeah. But if uh, not, I would hate for you guys to be the ones to yeah. go and pay something that's yeah. not yours. And if she's not late on them, right, like it's yeah. not going to penalize him um, necessarily. But if she is late and she doesn't pay them, then that's the that's the stupid tax that you pay yeah. as a cosigner, yeah. unfortunately. And I, and, I, and I also hate to take us where we got to go here, Lauren, but you said we multiple times. Do we need to pay this off? And there's no we. Unfortunately, this is he. I know there's not. (laughs) Okay, so. Not yet. uh, Well, I get it. We're very close to like engagement, marriage. Very exciting. Okay, very exciting. But until Until then. Until then, nothing. Until then, this is his problem. Yes. And I hate it for him, but I I agree with Rachel. Um, I I would be reaching out with with the the olive branch, you know, the (laughs) metaphor to say, hey. So can I get my name off this? Can I? Would you work with me on this? Can we look because to see if we can refi- Yeah. You don't want to be with me. Yeah. I'm okay with that. You know, I would try to ne- to negotiate that on good faith. To say, hey, help me out. Do me a solid. I tried to help you out. That yeah. was that was not so yeah. smart. That's right. Um, but again, it it would take her. She's got to play ball. She's and 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 if she doesn't, it's like pff, that's it. I mean, but man, we get this call with. Cars, houses. You know this is a new trend, by the way. I haven't asked you what you think of this. 
the new trend is, and I'm sure you know of this, but a lot of single people that may just be friends, they're not even romantically connected. Well, they're trying, they're buying houses together. Together with both names, trying to get equity and all that. Oh, no. Because they can't afford to buy a house yeah. on their own. So they're going, okay, I'm really good friends with my buddy, Bob. Yeah. And so Bob and Larry are going to buy a house <laughs> together. And it's like, that can't end well. No. But this no, is a thing that's both happening. both names on the deed and the mortgage, all of it. Yeah, no. no. Don't do that. I know, because in the moment, it feels like a really smart financial move. Well, that why reading, don't I, yeah. yeah, what if a three or four go together? They all go, well, wait a second. I can put my down payment in, you put yours in, and four of us oh, become roommates, one house. Yep, and then, and not just roommates, but owning Owners. part ownership You're right. within it. But they think, oh, it's a smart roommate play, oh, and we yeah. all get a little bit of equity, and, and it's going to be and great. Then, and then Bob goes off. Doing Bob's thing, and you're like, <laughs> right? Bob? Bob goes and meets Luann, Crap. Crap. and now Larry's Crap. screwed. What am I gonna do, Bob? Why are all these people 80 years old? I think it's what funnier because huh. if I said Eric, it's not funny, but if I say Bob meets Luann, that's funny. <laughs> but if it's Eric and Meredith, it's not yeah. funny. <laughs> that's why I go with the older names. But there really is something yeah, here. Don't we're do that. We're having fun with this, but this gets really no. contentious. Now, what you can do, we've heard people do this, is they go and they buy, um, you know, a starter townhome or condo, they get two roommates, not on the mortgage, not yes, ownership. That's the and play. And they help pay the the mortgage and all that, you know. That's smart. Sure, that's a, that's a play yeah. to And you're to offering go. them a discount. But with, when it comes to ownership, yeah, I mean, any level of sharing, until unless you're married and there's a legal binding contract there, uh, other than that, not smart to- uh, Not smart. Co-sign, don't put your name on people's debt, don't go yeah. in together, think you're going to get a better deal with- yeah equity in the house and all that because bob and luann man they are trouble they're gonna go do their thing and poor larry loses his pal <laughs> and he like... may lose a lot of his money don't do it bob not worth it larry be pals you know play golf whatever it is you do don't co-sign on a mortgage and all that stuff it just never works out there you go and luann is the bad girl in all of it because she <laughs> won luann. bob's heart how did this all go so bad because you didn't buy it the right way for yourself.